the evening of July 26, 2012, Ryanair Flight 2054 left Palma de Mallorca at 20.50 hours, with almost 200 passengers on board, bound for Madrid. Oh, on the 26th of July, weather conditions were uh, really bad at Madrid. It was a very stormy weather, which uh, complicates very much uh, the operation. It got too bad to make, uh, to make uh, safe landings because uh, one of the uh, stormy cloud got in the, into the approach area just in front of the runway, so uh, traffic uh, wouldn't be able to land safely and he had to hold uh, over Madrid skies. When the cloud uh, got uh, into that position, we wouldn't be able to tell the pilots very accurately uh, which expected time approach can, could they expect. You make an estimate and uh, the pilot uh, in every aircraft uh, has to decide if he sticks uh, to, to the destination airport or he diverts to an alternative airport. In this case, what did the uh, Ryan Air Captain decide? Did he decide to divert? Yeah, he decided to divert. The Ryanair aircraft diverts to Valencia in the southeast, just like 11 other flights. You have to tell all your colleagues here that are controlling the sectors from between Madrid and Valencia that this traffic is changing his plan and uh, that he is going to Valencia. It's a very high level workload uh, for us controllers and of course also for the pilots. Flight 2054 approaches the airport without a problem, but there it has to wait its turn. He was told to hold over Valencia because he's, he was number fourth uh, in, in approach. Valencia sectors were also very busy because uh, another traffic had diverted before, uh, so it was really crowded. And that's when the Boeing 737 runs into trouble. Mayday, mayday, mayday. So uh, when uh, Rainer uh, was uh, close to the point when he should hold, he made mayday, mayday. He declared he was short of fuel, so he was cleared for a straight in approach. The Boeing does not have enough fuel to keep flying. How did that fuel shortage come about? We ask four Ryanair pilots who are speaking with us anonymously. There is pressure put on crews to track as little fuel as possible to, in order to save, uh, to save money for the company. Why is it? Profit saving money. How do you save money when you take little fuel? Um, for every weight extra carried, you burn more fuel. So the less weight you carry, you burn less fuel. The less fuel you burn, the less it costs. Simple. According to these pilots, they are pressured to take on as little fuel as possible in order to save on costs. Have you personally been in situations in which you felt this pressure to take less fuel that you, than you actually wanted to? Um, you feel it every day. Why is it that you don't want to be recognized? Because I'm afraid of losing my job. But it's in the past, I've gotten trouble in lots of jobs for raising issues or pushing uh, other colleagues to organize and stand up with them. The policy is working because almost no one dares to speak out. 